You told me we were dressing up. I, I said wear a suit. Yeah, and I wore my suit, and you're not wearing your suit. Why, Why do you think I would come here wearing a Batman costume? That, uh, because be you're weird. Batman? Duh. What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Truth31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness in the face, naked chest. And we have some brand new images of Robert Pattinson as Batman. And it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's new images of Batman. Nothing new. Nothing uh, mind-blowing that, that's going to make you be like, oh my god, this is so absolutely fucking amazing. You know, it's the same old, same old. If, if you love the Robert Pattinson costume, you're going to you know, be happy about it. If you're on the fence with the costume, this is not going to change your mind. You, you're looking at it, but like, okay, cool. It's the same picture. Um, no, no, Nothing spectacular. But I do like this image of Robert Pattinson's Batman in the rain. I don't know. Like, something about seeing Batman in the rain with the costume, even though this is not my favorite look for, for Batman, I think it's still pretty cool. And uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the cowl. I think the bulbous head looks a little weird. It, it looks a little Charlie Cox's Daredevil-ish, which I'm not a big fan of. But it, again, this is not a deal breaker for me, so I don't give a shit anyway. And uh, we have the Riddler, who looks like the gimp from fucking Pulp Fiction, which is a little odd. It's a little weird. But okay, whatever. It's Matt Reeves' take. I'm sure this is not going to be his final look for the character. And the only one that's looking just mwah, fire is Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. I think she's going to absolutely nail this look. And, I, and again, I think Matt Reeves and Robert Pattinson and the cast and crew are going to create something truly special for Batman fans. Now that I have the positive shit out of the way, <laughs> I'm going to go into why I'm not that excited for this movie. And I think it's because I'm a massive, massive huge Ben Affleck fan and I love Ben Affleck's take on the Batman to me Ben Affleck is the best live action Batman ever and the fact that Warner Brothers came out and called us toxic and called us a cult because we support Zack Snyder and we support his DCEU his Snyderverse and we want to see that shit continue and they just completely took Ben Affleck's movie away from him and just shoehorn this new Batman as to, as as to say, hey, fuck Zack Snyder, fuck you fans. We don't give a shit what you want. Here's a new Batman. Here's our Batman, and this is and this is a story that we want to continue and move forward with. And to me, I'm sorry, but fuck that shit. I don't like it. I don't like that. And like I said, this has nothing to do with Robert Pattinson or, or the cast and crew. Like I said, I hope people love it. I hope people enjoy it. But to me, Ben Affleck is my Batman and the Snyderverse is my DCEU. And I want to see the story continue with Ben Affleck as Batman and Joe Machinello as Deathstroke. That's that's my fucking um, uh, Gotham City universe right there. Ben Affleck. Uh, I want to see Ben Affleck's Gotham City. I want to see Ben Affleck's rogues gallery. He has a, a great great rogues gallery established already if you read the the nightmare storyboards for Justice League part two we, we already know that you know batman's villains have, has already been established especially with deathstroke which would have been awesome to see with a a, a a fucking brutal confrontation batman arkham origin style with ben affleck's batman and joe maginato as deathstroke that would have been awesome to see and the fact that warner brothers took Ben Affleck's Batman away from him because the, the Batman movie, this Batman movie right now, this would have been Ben Affleck's Batman movie. But of course, Jeff Johns and the rest of the fucking retards over at Warner Brothers, Walter Hermada and the Unholy Trinity took it away from Ben Affleck. And that's why he left. And that's why Zack Snyder left. And we were in the mess that we're in right now. But uh, I think that's the reason why I'm not super excited for this movie, because like I said, Ben Affleck is my Batman, and I want to see that movie continue. I want, I want to see that Snyderverse continue. And that's why I'm constantly hashtagging Restore the Snyderverse because I'm a big fan. And Ben Affleck, just like Zack Snyder, has the right to see his Batman arc continue and finish and for, the, and for Ben Affleck to continue playing the character. So this movie has a certain bad taste in my mouth, and it's not, and it's not Rob Pattinson's fault. It's not Matt Reese's fault. It's just... It's just the way it is, and, and it's all because of fucking Warner Brothers. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Hit like, subscribe, and share my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm acting like a fucking baby, and I, and I should shut the fuck up and be like, truth, it's over. Get over it. Just enjoy Mary's Batman film. Or do you agree with me? It's like, you know what? I'm a big fan of Ben Affleck, and I'm a big fan of Zack Snyder, and I want to see his universe continue as well. So as always, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, love you guys. Stay safe. Truth out.